Uh, but 2023 20, general elections, they, the national elections will come up in less than 10 days now. And um, some people still feel that we may not be really ready, especially because of the security situation in the country and the fact that some people are just feeling that the polity is really, really uh, tense right now. How confident are you of a successful 2023 election beginning with the one coming up in less than 10 days? I, I think uh, we have been assured by those in charge of security that uh, there won't be problem regarding that. I, even though I don't uh, have 100% trust in them and what they say, but I believe the insecurity we are having today may not be enough to stop the election because we are not having insecurity in everywhere in the country. It's only a few, yeah, we have only a few areas. And with the, at worst, those few areas will not be able to, 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 to conduct their the election in terms of uh, participating in the in the electoral process in that in that regard, which would be which would be which be unfortunate, and there would be a a, a, a self inflicted uh, uh, what's it called uh, disadvantage as far as I'm concerned. So I I, I think uh, the level of security security in this country today as it is today may not be enough to stop our election from being carried, from, from from going on because we have large number of states that are peaceful in a way. We have only a few areas where we have this insecurity going up and down. The only thing is that except we have a self-induced insecurity on the day of election by people who want to manipulate election. That, that, may, that, may, that may lead to cancellation of election in certain areas. Because some people want to do that and say, scare people away from, 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 from voting. Just like people who are threatening people now. They may want to do that on that election day. You can see when the, uh, Peter Obi was in Lagos on uh, last, last week, you can see the kind of attack uh, they, they received. Uh, 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 we saw it on, uh, on social media, we saw it on the, in, the, in the news, and they're, they're everywhere. So if we, uh, if except we are, we are seeing pockets of crisis in that regard, but those, as far as I'm concerned, those pockets of crisis may not be enough to stop the general election. And I have, I have hope that the election will, will go on as schedule, except other things will stop it. What they about your party, the PDP? Uh, what chances do they have, especially since uh, we see that the internal crises have not been resolved, even though uh, there are explanations why these things are happening and we were assured before now that they, whatever the problem is, there will be a resolution before the election. But we've seen that in River State, for instance, the presidential campaign couldn't go there for whatever reason, but we are, or the people are attributing that to the fact that there's a rift between Wiki, the governor of River State, uh, who happens to be, from history, uh, a, a very strong financial muscle for the PDP, uh, even though they may, the numbers may not come from there as in, term, in terms of voting, but uh, a lot will have been depending on uh, River State for some help. Now that this resolution has not been reached and elections are approaching, do you think that rift will affect the PDP? And if not, why? Are you so confident? Let me, let me first of all say that PDP is not in crisis. There's no crisis in PDP as far as I'm concerned. The, the issue of uh, G5, or, or which is now G1, as far as I'm concerned, is, 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 is you can see, is a sub to. The, and the fact that the, without a river state or whatever, the party will not be able to spend money or whatever. The Wiki has not been supporting the party since the, since the primary. The party has been moving from one place to another. They've been kind of, they have been, they've been doing their, 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 their thing. Mr. Governor Wike is not the only man in the party. Governor Wike has the right to say to agree and take position whatever he wants to take. It's not, and it's not only in, only in APC, APDP that you see this kind of a thing. In APC, we have seen people who are, who are members of the APC who have moved because of uh, Muslim Muslim tickets, who have, who have disagreed and they've moved. But they are not behaving like Governor Wike. That's why you are not, you are not, they are, they are, they are, is not on the news. The, 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 the Gala, former, former speaker, was, was in PDP, uh, APC. He has moved to PDP. The uh, former chief, uh, chief, uh, chief uh, uh, secretary was in APC. He has moved to PDP. Daniel Buala was in APC. He has moved. So many other ish people are also in APC that, that, that have issues with them have moved. But they are not taking it like a uh, Wike who are not handling it away in, in a mature way. And that's why you are saying you are talking about there is crisis. There is no crisis as far as I'm concerned. Somebody is, 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 not, is not happy, somebody is aggrieved, and he, he has the right to, to, to be. But the fact that he's aggrieved and he's not cooperating does not mean we practice in crisis. And the fact that people started to decide not to go to River State to, to do their campaign because they follow life than votes. They said, look, if they want to go do that rally in, that, in, in River State, they will, be, they will be there, but there may be crisis. 
and they don't they don't want to lose anybody's because of a, 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 a election and that's why they say look let's suspend let's suspend the what's it called the the campaign for now because they, they play the, the, the tension on, in, in the line in that area and that is the reason why that is that's happening it's not it's not because uh, governor wiki is, is, is preventing anybody from the uh, from, from from doing any campaign anywhere in this case. governor wiki is not the is not the owner of the of the state he's not the only person from the river state he's, there are some other people who are from river state who are supporting Elijah to go back at. and i tell you with or without river state with or without, without governor wiki atiku abubaka is the candidate to beat he is the winner of this election even without uh, having uh, without, before the election you can see he's the one he's the only person who, can, who has the capacity to deliver this, this election he has the structure everywhere he has been law he's been around for long and uh, nobody can be compared to to Elijah Atiku abubaka in terms of this election governor uh, president Buhari currently did not win river states in the last election and in, and in 2019. governor uh, president Buhari did not win the south south and south east today is a president so with or without river states with or without south even though I, I am sure that some of the states in the South will be won by, the, by, by PDP, and, uh, and that, 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 that will give us uh, whatever we are looking for. And even the area where, we, where, where, where the PDP will not win in the South, they will have that 25% uh, uh, sure in that, deliver in that area, which is what is important for that. I, I assure you, we will come back and say it. Alaja Jukba Abaka will win the election. Okay, I hope that day uh, arrives. Uh, but um, we're just worried that a, a child as big as uh, Wiki, I'm using the family now, if he's going um, the other way, uh, a father is not able to bring him back. Is it that he's lacking the words to make this recalcitrant son to repent, or he's is not, that he has just child. condemned him? So, he's because you have child. many he's children, he doesn't matter. Does it mean that because you have many children, he doesn't matter? No, if, if, one, child is, if one child is saying... He's not going to cooperate with other children. Will you, will you now abandon the other one because of me? Or, or will, you, will you stop your, 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 what you are doing and say, look, since this one is not accepting our, 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 our mode of operation, I will, will, not, will not do anything again. No. He has the right. He's the governor today. Yes. Let him leave the, 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 the position tomorrow. You will see what will happen. This, all this, all this, all this uh, control that he's that is having is because he's in charge. Because he's the governor. By the time he leaves the, the, the seat as the governor, he will realize that look, he, has made, he, has, he, he, didn't, he didn't do well in terms of handling uh, uh, the issue, and uh, I hope you will not regret it thereafter. Okay, um, uh, Barrister Tunji, it's always a pleasure having you on the program and throwing light on issues that we find some gray areas. And now you're very confident that PDP will win. We wish you luck. That's all we can say. Uh, every other thing will be decided thank by Nigeria. Thank you very much. Yeah. We we'll celebrate it together. Okay. Thank very, you. very good. Make sure the Naira yeah. notes are available for everybody to. <laughs> to no, you use. have to go and see the CPN governor for that. <laughs> okay. Or Q, Q at the ATM. Whatever it is, we pray that Nigeria will experience peace rather than violence, whether it's during election or after election or before election, because now a lot of people sleep at ATM machines. Um, they sleep at banking uh, premises. They sleep everywhere that they think that they can have some cash. Because like we say, uh, everybody is saying, you have your money, but you cannot spend it. I was expecting, uh, 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 Barrister, anyway, this is not something to respond to, but I was expecting the governors who seem to be so, so interested in this. This is what I wanted to say that time, but I said I, want, I didn't want to put words in your mouth. I was expecting them to engage the NCC, for instance, to make sure that online banking is seamless. Because a lot of people who are complaining could have done without having to go to the ATM because they have the facility that they could do transfers and they buy from places that they can do transfers to. But it's not working. And NCC should have been looking at this. But they neglected the NCC and went after the federal government. The DMOs no, the, the, the should... Are not in the the DMOs bank, also... The DMOs also are taking unnecessary charges because even if I want to do a, a transaction, no matter how small the money they cut, they cut like two times or three times for every transaction, no matter how small it is, it's very painful. It's sometimes more painful than losing a, a huge sum of money. These people should be engaged as well to make sure these charges are no longer there because you put 5000 in a bank and the next month you are taking maybe 4800 because the charges have taken away the 200 from your small 5000 that you put there and also the national security advisor should have been engaged to see how 
within the premises of the financial institutions, there would be security and other things. But they left these three critical sectors or cr critical agencies, and they are fighting the federal government. Yes, they are, they, are, they, are, they are also having a good approach, but I think the very critical people have been neglected, and it is the federal government that they are fighting. If I had the opportunity to do transactions for everything I do, there's no problem for that. Uh, to me at all, it's no, no problem. But in a case where I do a transaction, like you said, you've done a transaction since January 27th until now, it has not yielded any fruits, then there is really a problem. But be that as it may, may Nigeria find peace rather than violence. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Barista Tunji Abdul Hamid, for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Well, uh, Tunji Abdul Hamid is a Kwara State PDP um, Presidential and State Campaign Council, uh, Council member, and he's been talking with us here on the show. We'll take a news break. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us.